Hello everyone, welcome back to Analog, a hate story. Alright, let's continue the game. So it looks like we're at 30% unlocked, so about 30% through the game. And yeah, it looks like there are no new things to read in any of the blocks of data. Yep, no messages are unread, so I believe what I probably need to do is switch back to Hyane and get her opinion on the newly unlocked things that have been unlocked by Mute. So let's do that. Um, how do I do that? Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, no, no, wrong one. Override terminal. All right. Disable AI, mute. Oh, no parameters are required, never mind. Disable AI and enable AI. I capitalized that, I don't know if that's gonna be an issue. Now activated. Okay, it is not case sensitive. And there we go. Hello. Excuse me. Hello, Hyane. How you doing? Well, I guess I can't ask you that because, well, I can't talk to you. I can only say yes or no. All right. So what did I unlock? Was it block two? Yeah, it was these. Okay. Let's get her opinion on this which I'm sure will be much more enlightened than mute. May I ask you to do me a favor, please? Sure. There's a block of data that I can't access for some reason. I think it's been flagged so that only humans can... All I get is a sharp pain every time I try. Hmm. Who would do that and why? I really want to know what's in there. Can I get you to... Uh, can I get you to drop to the console and take a look? Sure. Once you're in super user mode, just type... Alright, let me write that down. Decrypt. Block 3. Okay. Super user mode. I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, should I do that before getting her opinion on these things? No, let's get her opinion on these things first. Oh, hello again. So, were you able to decrypt that block? Oh, you want me to do that first? Uh, not yet. That's alright then, I understand, don't worry about it. I'm sure there's just some sort of problem, right? Given the way the system is, that's no surprise. Well, if you want to talk about something else, uh, that would be perf perfectly fine. Alright, alright, hold on. I'll do it. Okay, I don't know what super user mode is. Is that a command? Oh, wait, oh, whoa, there's new commands. Uh, reactor, PSS, copy, power control? Interesting. Well, I guess I'm in super user mode right now, so decrypt block three. Oh, whoops. No space. Block three. Decrypting block now. Block successfully decrypted. All right. Did you notice anything, Hyane? So what can I do for you? All right, show me a piece. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll try to access it again. Hopefully she'll notice. Hopefully I didn't miss the moment. Oh, um, so you've read those then. What? Shit, did I miss it? Hold on. No, 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 no. I don't like that. That's... It's set up awkwardly, obviously, but... I... So you've read those. Yeah, okay. Hold on. I didn't really go anywhere, so let me restore. That's kind of set up in a very clumsy way. You have... I mean, she should notice that you, un you know, you decrypted it. So that's bizarre. Okay, let's do this again. I mean, how am I supposed to... Am I supposed to psychically know that she wants me to do it before reading that? She didn't say that, but for some reason that's the way the game's set up. That's bizarre. All right.
So if you try to access it, you'll tell me to do that. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. There we go, blocks successfully decrypted. Now let's see what she was going to say. Okay. Oh, hello again. So were you able to decrypt that block? Yes. Let me take a look now then. Oh, wow. No wonder that was encrypted and blocked off from AI access. Okay, now I'm interested, what? I wouldn't have wanted that nosy security AI to read some of these. Oh my, this is dramatic. Okay, so apparently she thinks that Mute would... Mute shouldn't read those, so what is it that Mute would react to? I'm not sure if you're interested, but I've given you a couple of entries from there to see for yourself. Thank you. But if you don't care, that's perfectly fine. I'm sure I can find something else that you're interested in. Alright, what did she unlock? Well, it's not in this block. New block, or what? Okay, yeah, block three. Alright, so this is something that apparently Mute would use for nefarious purposes or something. So, brought home from O Sojin. Alright, what have we got here? These past few months have left me so very anxious with anticipation. Nearly a year has passed since the wedding ceremony, and before this week, Sang Min had only visited my family once, promising he would bring me home with him for sure the next time. I know I'm supposed to be enjoying living with my parents while it lasts, but all I can think about is my husband. How is a new bride expected to have such patience? For nearly a year, a day hasn't gone by where I haven't thought of how beautiful he thought me in my wedding dress, or how it felt spending that night held so gently in his strong hands. Looking forward to the day where I could live in his house, I can't help but feel as anxious in my heart as I am excited in my hips. I know, it is ungraceful to think of such things, but how can I help myself? In any event, he arrived yesterday to take me with him to his ancestral shrine, and then finally his home. Such a luxury I've never seen in my life. A servant to prepare meals, entirely separate women's quarters, and a dining room with a window that shows the stars. My family was hardly all that poor, but a window to the stars? How amazing a sight! I knew that I was lucky to have been married into a noble family, but I never realized just how lucky. I wonder if I'll have time to write as much as I used to. Oh, but I must stop for tonight now. I can hear my husband coming. I've been looking forward to this night for so long now. How I hope I can make him happy. Just hearing his footsteps outside the door makes my heart pound. Wait a minute. This is from Oh Sojin. Was this... I'm guessing this is before the whole thing happened. So she used to actually be a, she used to actually like him. What the hell happened? I need to check the years, but before that, let me see what uh, Hyane has to say. Say, um, I just had a thought. Yeah, it's a little bit silly to keep up this whole pretense with this schoolgirl librarian look, don't you think? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like a schoolgirl librarian. Uh, a little, sure. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, you know I've always been into cos cosplay. I did know that, actually. I remember you mentioning it. I've actually designed a bunch of other outfits, too. Um, now that I'm saying this, I guess it's a little bit awkward, but... Would you like to see? <laughs> sure. Ah, well, very well. You can use the Change Outfit command to, uh, dress me up if you want. Jeez, I'm sorry, I'm making this really awkward. It's just that I have a couple that I think are really cute, and you might want to see them. Please, don't read into it or anything, it's not like I'm... It's not like I'm just trying to please you or anything, I just think it might be fun, that's all. Um, anyway, you don't have to if you don't want to. 
but it's change outfit if you if you are really interested. Sorry, it's it's really a weird thing to ask now that I think about it. Jeez, what am I saying? I just thought maybe you might be interested in that. I am. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, let me check the dates before I forget. Um, so this is from uh, 111, year 311. So 111, 311. 111, 311, 111, 311, 111, 311, 111, 311, 111, 311, 111, 311, 111, 311, 111, 311. Okay. 111, 311. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So that was about 11 years ago. Uh, 10 years ago. Like, 10 years ago in 10 months. Wow. So back then, she was actually happy. Unless, wait, maybe she was being married to a different person. I, I don't think so, but I don't remember. I don't remember the person's name. But yes, yeah, so it used to be a time when she was actually happy with a man. Obviously, that didn't work out 10 years later. Oh, she said they were going to try for a child. So yeah, that must have been that person. The guy who, I guess, doesn't have any... Firing blanks. Okay, let's change your outfit. Uh, override terminal. Okay, what's available? We'll show up and help the change outfit. Yep. Ch change. Oh, God damn it! I'm so good at spelling. Change outfit. Um, is it gonna give me some options? Dresses up Hyun A in an alternative outfit. Available costumes: schoolgirl, default, handbok, maid, detective, scientist. Hmm. Well, I don't want her to be a maid because that's kind of creepy. It's like serve me, my, my AI slave. Um, no, I have no idea what handbok is. Okay, let's just try some out. I don't know what handbok is, so let's let's do that. Oh, she's now dressed up in the Pale Bride's handbok. I don't know what that is. Is that like a ceremonial dress? Uh, let's find out. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh. So, that's the... Wait, what? I, I, what? I didn't even know what it was. What are you talking about? So, that's the way things are, I suppose. What? You're disappointed in me? What the fuck are you talking about? Now that you know I'm a real girl, you expect me to dress like one? I, that's not what I meant to do. No, that's not it. Oh, that's a relief. Where did you even find this? I didn't make this design. Wait, what? If you didn't make the design, then why was it in there as an outfit? I guess it was in the computer already, be because it's what I wore when I was still alive. I never liked it, not a bit. I always wanted to wear fun things, but instead I had to wear this all the time. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know that's what it was. I've now forced her to wear a symbol of her oppression. I'm going to change that now. I still don't like it, but I suppose something formal would be more appropriate because of all the serious stuff and all. No, 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 hold on. Well, go ahead, let's get back to work now. Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't know what a handbok was. Okay, um, what was it? Hmm. Well, it's gonna be either detective or scientist. Scientist is awesome. Detective would fit this very well because we're kind of being little detectives. Um, let's try detective. This is fun, I'm playing dress up. Playing dress up is actually fun. Now dressed up as a detective. Okay, you'll like this one a bit more. That's not the style I expected. Ah, I knew that. Uh, I knew the dame was troubled the moment they connected to my ship. Couldn't say a word. Left all the questions to me. Is is that a reference to something? <laughs> or something like that. Okay, yeah, that's a reference to something. Well, let me guess, Sherlock Holmes or something? I don't know. I'm not familiar with Sherlock Holmes or any detective things of any sort. So you're interested in cosplay after all. See? See there. Expert detective work on my part. But really. And now we both match, don't we? I mean, obviously you're some sort of investigator, so I think this goes especially well. Right? I mean, what do you think? <laughs> you can actually tell her, that's stupid. That's so mean. You make a very cute sidekick. Oh, well, thank you. 
Actually, this one is based off a movie I saw as a child. I guess the name doesn't really matter, since it's countless hundreds of years old and all. Anyway, it was my favorite. I don't really normally like mysteries, but the love story in it was just so wonderful. Well, that and it had a really cute guy for a hero. Anyway, he dressed like this and it looked really great. Sidekick, huh? Huh, I like that a lot. So, uh, about the whole look, you really don't mind when a girl dresses or acts more like a guy, then? <laughs> I don't mind. Well, I think it's a really good look, so I'm glad. I don't mind either. You know, the part that's really sort of funny? I actually have no idea how an outfit like this is supposed to feel. And not like emotionally, I mean literally. I have no idea what suits feel like, I've never worn them in my life. Ah well, the chance for that has long disappeared. Anyway, I should stop babbling, I'm just really excited, that's all. I suppose I should really let you get back to it. Lead on, investigator, and your trusty sidekick will help as best she can. I really want to try this scientist one, but I'm going to stick with this for a little bit. Because science is awesome. But I have to admit that being a detective is much more fitting to what we're doing. Since it really doesn't have anything to do with science. Anyway. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to look at the, all the documents and get her opinions on everything from block 3, and then I need to go back to block 2 and get her opinions on that. So let's get her opinion on this, brought home. That's from Oh Sojin, ten years ago. Tell me, detective. What do you think? So you're interested in the Smiths, then? Oh, very well. This is pretty much all new to me, too, actually. So I guess you can see for yourself, Oh Sojin did have an ordinary woman's desire at one point. And even then, she was certainly all about expressing those desires, at least in writing. Wow, ungraceful is certainly a way to put it. Not that I'm judging. I'm sure she'd never say anything like that. I'm hardly one to talk, either. So, um, just out of curiosity, what do you make of her as a new bride? Um... She seems sweet. Yeah, I think so, too. It's really cute. It sadly doesn't really seem to last. It looks like her marriage was, well... Oh jeez, that's... it's not quite as bad as mine was, but I really don't envy her, poor woman. Well, if you're interested in learning more, I've just put together a family tree of the Smith family, which should help you keep track of them all. Um, I'm less certain about this one. Since, you know, not my family and all. Fair enough. Alright, let's take a look. Wait, is this... Wait, is this the same family tree that's from Mute? Because it even says Mute in the corner. Hmm. Uh, so let's find Osojin. Or wait a minute, is she not... They're not, um... The women's names aren't recorded properly, right? So is Osojin even mentioned? Nope. Wait. Oh, no, no, there she is. Smith Sang Min in 2010. Yep, that was the person. Smith Sang Min, where is he? Smith Sang Min, there we go. So Smith Sang Q is his brother. Smith Dai Hyun is the father. Okay. No Luck by Smith Sang Min. Right, so that is Oh Sojin's uh, husband, and that was three years. That was about three years after this brought home message, and it's called No Luck. So I'm guessing it's about No Luck conceiving a child. Which, let me guess, he he probably blames on her. To the wife of Sang Kyu. That's his brother, right? Yes, that's his brother. You can probably put this more diplomatically than I can, because I'm pretty sure younger brother is still thoroughly pissed off at me. You know how he is, of course. I don't have the time to deal with that, especially when I'm already doing him a huge favor. And the bad news is, I made an appeal to the captain and emperor himself personally, but he said there was no position that a man of Sang Kyu's skill set could possibly fulfill. I did most certainly plead, but let's face it. What official role could that man possibly fill? He's an idiot. Oh my god. 
He's telling sang -Kyu's wife that her husband is an idiot? What a douchebag. Don't pass on that last part, he already knows. I did, however, speak to the park's son, and was able to convince him to forget the whole incident. It wasn't cheap, I might add. Park's son, forget the whole incident, okay. I'll continue to send your family a regular stipend, but please, keep your husband under control. I can't afford to keep cleaning up after his damned fights. Okay, so apparently sang Q was getting into a lot of trouble. Tell me, detective, what do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what all that business is about, truthfully. From what I understand, though, Smith Sang-Q had a tendency to get in trouble. He sounds really unpleasant. Yes, he does. Apparently he was getting into fights. I don't know if they mean just, like, shouting matches or literal fist fights. Like, violence? I don't know. Okay, so back to block two. And let's get her opinions on these. Oh, um, so you've read those then. Not that it... Not that it was seen appropriate for women to spend time with anyone but other women or anything, but, um, uh, uh... So, um, why are you showing this to me? To hear what you think. Well, why do you ask? Do you, uh, approve of that sort of thing? Yes. Ah, I... I see. Well, it's when she said she wanted to be seduced. I can definitely really understand that. Uh, sp whoa, what the f- That was weird. Especially if it was someone I really liked. That sounds like a good thing to me. Not that I could really imagine doing that with any of my servants, but I... Jeez, why are we even talking about something this embarrassing? Can we please talk about something else? Okay, fair enough. My blushing detective sidekick. Oh, she's adorable. Let's see what she thinks of these. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm pissing her off. I said I didn't really want to talk about this more, alright? Hmm. Should I keep pressing her? Uh, let me let me save just in case. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. No, she has nothing to say. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. I'm. I don't think she has anything to say about any of this. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, I guess the next step is probably to switch to mute and check out block three. I think that's it. Yep, let's do it. I can't change her costume, can I? Can I? I don't think I can. That would be pretty funny. She would be so pissed at that. Change outfit. No, you don't. There's no parameter for specifying the AI that you're uh, doing it to, so no, you can't. At least not yet. I don't think she'd be into that anyway. Alright, block three. Tell me, mute. That's actually from before I knew her. It's pretty hard to imagine her as a blushing newlywed, honestly. She was an awfully good friend of mine. We chatted a lot. Look, I mean, don't get me wrong. She did a lot of things that were really wrong and really gross. I don't condone that, and I definitely don't understand it. Not that it could be cheating or anything. It's not like you can have love with just women. But still, gross. 
But please look past all that. Like, yes, she was a bad wife, but you have to understand, it wasn't her fault. It's like what I reported to my mistress, Ryu Chehua. None of the problems in her marriage were her own fault. She was just the wife of a lousy man, plain and simple. That's what it sounds like. Mostly, she tried to do the best she could. She was a really great woman, so please don't look down on her, okay? I, I never have looked down on her. If anything, you're looking down on her. Somewhat. Oh, wow. Okay, she unlocked a bunch of things. Alright, before we get to the end, let's read the intervening ones. So this is from a couple years after the previous one. Still from Osojin. Laughable situation. I cannot believe just two years ago I was actually excited about moving into the Smith home with my husband. Oh, how shortly that lasted. I find it funny. The first time I realized that I would have to compete for his affections with every common woman and every courtesan he came across, I was shocked. The first time he brought one home, I cried for a week. And mother-in-law was furious with me, claiming it it's my fault for not being enough for him. Now I realize the insanity of her reasoning, as if she tr as if, ugh, as if she wouldn't have already known her son was simply that sort of man. The only person who had any right to be shocked was me. Still, I struggle for his attention, but now it is all but banal. If the truth is to be told, this is something I would tell not mother-in-law nor mute, nor least of all my husband. I do not even fight for his affections for his own sake. It is pure selfishness on my part. All I wish for is some indicator that it isn't as though I'm unattractive, and that it isn't as though I'm unlikable. Any affection he gets is simply an attempt at fishing the affirmation out of him, and nothing more. That is really sad. Daughter. Wait a minute, hold on. That is... Um, three months after the previous one. For the past two months, ever since it became impossible to hide that she was with child, Jang Mi has been living in our house, and no visitors have been allowed to come in. It has created an incredibly awkward state of affairs. I can hardly stand to be in the same room with that courtesan, let alone live with her. Until recently, so few words have we exchanged, I did not even know her name until the third week of her living here. My husband made me agree to go along with the fiction that the child is actually mine, which, well, I've yet to give him one myself. So, if that is how I am to make up for it, then that is what I'll do. I thought it was going to be so hard to keep up that pretense to pretend that this child is my own while the real mother lives under the same roof, yet apparently not. As it turns out, the whole charade has been for absolutely nothing. After all that, the child turned out to be a girl. Of course, I'm sure Jang Mi is quite happy, since she's already been brought out in the hopes that we could pretend her son was mine. Wait, uh, sorry, already been bought out in the hopes that we could pretend the son was mine. But an illegitimate daughter, well, who cares? It would almost be funny if not for the fact that it means I will have to live with that constant reminder of how little my husband cares for me. Almost, but not really. High Magistrate Smith Sang Min, huh? Well, as High Magistrate, he was one of the highest ranking officials until just before the end. I don't want to paint a misleading portrait, as I understand he was a very just man, and performed his function quite well. It was politics that caught up to him in the end. It's like I reported to my mistress Ryo Che Hua. He might have been a good magistrate, but his family conduct was... less than the pinnacle of virtue. How many wives a man takes is no business but his own. And he never did anything illegal, but... Knocking up courtesans owned by the court? Man, that's just bad politics. And, well, you saw what that kind of neglect did. It forced his wife to seek comfort wherever she could find it. So that's why he lost his position. Years of embarrassment in the family finally culminated in him turning into a real liability for the Emperor. But it wasn't always like that. Here, let me try to paint an, an even portrait of him for you. I've added an assortment of logs about him. I hope this gives a good idea of what I mean. Oh, she opened up the previous one. Apparently it's written by Mute. 
A proper damn gentleman. A transcription fragment of a conver conversation held by Smith Sang Jung. Oh, and that was how I knew shit had gotten serious. He actually agreed to let me pick the drinking house we went to. My oldest brother only ever humors me when he's really trying to get on my good side. It's never a good sign. Well, I mean, it's good for me, but certainly not for him. I'm sure a classy lady such as yourself wouldn't be familiar with this kind of place. Haha, <laughs> no. You know the sort. Tucked away in an interior deck. Lots of wood furniture that's been stained, and not intentionally. With just enough commoners milling about to give a good background sound soundtrack. Oh, and it's run by a woman. Nice lady, too. So it's that sort of place. We arranged to meet up at the door. It's been a while, brother. I'm sorry I couldn't speak to you sooner, he said, trying to be polite. You're full of shit, I said. But hey, it is good to see you. So what do you want? I meant it, he said. He's a bad, bad liar. So why here, anyway? At that point, the owner came by, asking what we'd like. The only real thing you need to know about... Uh, Chine is that she's around my age. She's got the biggest tits I've ever seen in my life, and she dresses like a commoner. So you can certainly see them. Oh, he said. Fair enough. Bring your finest... Sochu? Soju? I don't know. I ordered. Please, she responded. You can't afford our finest. Totally not true, by the way. My reputation for being a cheap drunk? Completely unfounded. Honest, I have no idea where people get these crazy ideas from. Anyway, far be it from me to argue, I just reply, maybe not, but my brother can. I mean, I knew he was going to ask me for money. That was obvious. Might as well give as much as I could, uh, might as well get as much as I could out of him before giving whatever he wanted, right? Fine, we'll be sharing that, he said. Then he added, but how much to share with you, too? She blushed. Amazing, really. She's got a lot of practice dealing with people like my brother, but I saved her the misery of having to flirt back with him. Do you really need more of that kind of trouble right now? With that, he let her go. Anyway, drinks came, we argued about the loose definition of finest, our server's tits, and the good old days when father was still alive and we didn't have to work out our problems ourselves. The biggest bullshit ever, I said, is that we're expected to be responsible men here. How did that happen? He laughed, and was now drunk enough to start taking cheap shots. Is that why you're... you've never bothered to be one? Ouch, I said. Damn it, hurry up and pour me more. I'll drink to that. He poured, but didn't say anything. Alright, so what is it that you want? I'm getting the impression that you have a problem. You want discretion because you're talking to me, right, brother? I was right. So where did you put it this time, brother? I asked. Put what? He replied. Oh, cut the shit, I said. We both know full well that all your problems in life have always, without fail, stemmed from putting your dick some somewhere you shouldn't have. He grunted in disagreement, but it's totally true. Was it at least a female this time? Swear to my father, brother was right about to punch me. Didn't, though. Instead, he just downed his drink. Yeah, that's the damned problem, he said. She's saying she hasn't bled in two months now. A courtesan. I promised him I'd help. Better she gets bought out by me than by my brother, the High Magistrate. Less suspicious that way, and involves nothing unlawful. Believe me now, a proper damn gentleman, that's me. Yeah. Such a gentleman. Well, this is what I told him at the time. I could have maybe, you know, done without the description of her breasts. But that kind of story was definitely pretty common for him. The part where he cleaned up cleaned up after his family's mess, I mean, not the details about immoral-looking common women. Seriously, immoral-looking? <sighs> and, well, the drinking, too. But look, that part he had good cause for. Sure, it was his ruin, but you can't blame him for that. I mean, the stuff he had to put up with. If you had it like that, I'm sure you'd do the same. Uh... I really couldn't say. It wasn't all that bad, really. We'd spend a lot of evenings drinking together, talking long into the night. Well, he would, anyway. Obviously, really, uh, not really so much drinking on my part. But he was the kind of man who'd still pour a glass for you all the same. So that whole sarcastic thing about him being a proper gentleman? It's not sarcastic. He really was. Well, he was being sarcastic. But still. Okay. 
He totally, absolutely was the best damn gentleman around. If you say so. Daughter, did... Wait, did I just read this? Oh yeah, yeah, I've read that. I'm sorry, by Smith Sang Min. Smith Sang Min. I don't remember who that is. Is that the husband? Smith Sang Min. Smith Sang Min. Yeah, that's the husband of... Uh... Osojin. Uncle Da... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me look at the pronunciation guide for this. Dai Ho. Is there anything there for that? Dai Ho. There could be Tai Ho. But I'm gonna go with the D. Uncle Dai Ho. Look, I'm sorry about our last conversation, all right? It's like I said to you before. You just caught me at a really bad time. Sojin was kept in bed, in bed rest on strict doctor's orders. I'm sorry that you brought your wife all the way to get turned away like that. When I told Sojin that you had given her well wishes on her pregnancy, she was happy, but sad she couldn't see you herself. Our child was just born last week, a daughter. We decided, we decided to name her Min Hai, and Sojin is recovering well. The doctor said that it would be fine for her to see visitors next week. I'm sorry I got angry. If your wife still wants to see mine, or the child, or my mother, by all means you're welcome to visit. I really hope there's no hard feelings, Uncle. Sang Min. Okay, no luck. Have I gotten her comment on this yet? No, I've not. I've read this, but I have not gotten her comment. I know it sounds like Sang Min is just being harsh on his little brother, but I assure you, his character characterization of him isn't wrong. I honestly kind of tended to avoid him. I was friends with his older brother's wife, and his younger brother was an absolute gentleman, but he was not a very nice man. He was the sort of person that the court exams were, were supposed to keep out in theory. It didn't work, of course. He studied just as well as brothers. Or so Sang Chung told me. Wait, he studied just as well as brothers. Uh, I think that meant to say he studied just as well as his brothers. Here, you want to see the usual sort of behavior that you'd get from Smith Sang Kyu? I've added another entry, this one by the Kim Sun. I am curious exactly what his behavior was. <laughs> this is from a clerk. Legendary temper. Now, I've been a clerk for a while, and it's not as if I haven't heard all the stories about High Magistrate Smith Sang Min and his legendary temper. But I always figured they were an exaggeration, especially after I met him for the first time. The man seemed like an absolute model of a gentleman, and rather calm and unemotional. I'm not criticizing him, I just never imagined the man getting angry. It was while an official was presenting the facts of a murder case to him, a drunken brawl between peasants gone horribly wrong. It all seemed satisfactory enough, a dozen men had seen it, there wasn't really any doubt about it, so far so good. Very well, the High Magistrate said, let me read the confession then before I pass the sentence. The official didn't have one, which is reasonable enough. A lot of times, they can't get it out of them, and I've never seen a magistrate who was really all too concerned about those little details. Excuse me, you don't have a confession, he said, and his mood soured right there. Why are you wasting my time, then? He looked at the accused, who had been kowtowing silently up until that point. You, do you even admit to killing him? The murderer seemed confused, and it took a minute to realize he was being addressed. Furthermore, when he did figure it out, he simply kept mumbling, not my fault, wasn't my fault, and the such. The High Magistrate was furious. What is wrong with you? What is this man doing in front of me in a state like that? He doesn't admit to doing it. What do you expect me to do, he demanded. After some silence from the officials, official, he continued, It wasn't a rhetorical question. Please, enlighten me. What do you expect me to do here? To... punish him? The official finally offered, weakly. 
as confused about the matter as I was. Punish him? This was what set him off completely off the edge. He stood up, shouting. We are not given the responsibility of punishment. What are we, barbarians looking for vengeance? The point of justice is to teach immoral men like him the error of their ways. He lectured, shouting at the top of his lungs. And how do you expect to do that with a man who won't even admit his own actions? Does this man look like he's ready to learn? Do you seriously believe that? Are you simple? The official looked as though he was about to argue, but then thought against it. Smart move. The High Magistrate continued more calmly. Now stop wasting my time and get him out of my, out of my office. Come back when you have a confession and a clue as to what your job actually entails. And with that, he left, leaving the official speechless, and leaving me realizing that perhaps a legendary temper and being a model gentleman weren't quite so mutually exclusive as I had thought. See? He wasn't always that bad. He was an embarrassment, and far from a pinnacle of virtue. I didn't think that highly of him, but at the end of the day, it was about politics, not about his character. Well, he does certainly seem to be a man with principles. And also apparently a douchebag, unfortunately. Anyway, what did you unlock? Oh, wow. Four and nine. Damn! All right, we're delving deep into the Smith family. Um, Smith saying hi. Uh, hold on, Smith saying hi. Who is that? Saying Min is the husband of Sojin. Saying hi, saying Min. Hmm. I know Kyung Sam is the one that was always getting in trouble, right? Anyway, letter to Sang Min from Sang Hai. Letter to Sang Min from Sang Hai. Hold on. Letter to Sang Min from Sang Hai. Letter to Sang Min from Sang Hai. Sang Hai. Who's that? Older sister of the main Smith branch married into Huang family. Okay, so she's the older sister. So from older sister to younger brother Sang Min. Okay. Got it. Oh, dearest brother of mine, I am sure you know it's been three years since my husband died. I still mourn him in my heart, of course, and I'm sure I will forever, but the official mourning period's over. You probably also know that the Huang family isn't doing very well right now. Terribly, in fact, and it only got worse when my husband died. It didn't help that we only had daughters, so I don't exactly have a son to look after me. Right now I'm completely at the mercy of his parents, and well, as I said, no son. They only took me in because of that big dowry. They sure never liked me, and it's only gotten worse. Way worse. So I need you to help me out, Min, or they're going to just abandon me. Do you remember that story we read together as a child about that widow who had to turn to begging? I'm sure you remember how it ended. Well, that's going to be me at this rate. Don't worry, though. I have a plan. I've talked to my husband's brother about this. And also, I managed to discreetly fish some information out of his parents. They'd be willing to let me get married to him, and all you need to do is chip in a new dowry. One and a half times the old would be enough. Please respond as soon as possible, little brother, because I really need your help here. Love, Sanghai. Oh, and this is the younger brother responding to... Uh, saying hi, uh, f like five, four or five days afterwards. Response to saying hi. Sister saying hi. Calm down. They may not, they might, <laughs> they may not be nice, but I'm sure they're not going to kick their son's widow out on the street. Do you have any idea how terrible that would look for them? It would be a huge disgrace on their name. As for remarrying, I'm sorry, but that's a lot of money you're asking. Besides, you know how much remarriage is looked down upon? Chaste widowhood may be a difficult standard to hold yourself to, but you will be honored forever if you can manage it. And if anyone is good enough to live up to that standard, I know it's you, big sister. I wish I could give you an easier way out, but I hope you realize it's for the best that way. Great, so she has no husband, and she's living with a family that hates her. 
And that's... So the rest of her life is just spent living as... Hold on. The rest of her life is just spent living as... A chaste... A chaste widow? Or chaste, whatever, however you pronounce it. Like, that's her identity now. She is now a chaste widow, and that's it. Like, wait a minute. If women's main role in this society is just to be married and produce children and, you know, take care of the house and whatnot, then when your entire identity is widowhood, then apparently it's frowned upon to remarry. So the rest of your days are going to be spent not married. So if, if, you know, if the main use of you, it's horrible, but if, if your main place in society is with a husband and now you can't really have a husband, what the hell do you do? Like, are they allowed to work in any jobs? Alright, there's a reply to Seng Min, sent two days after his response. Oh, generous and benevolent young brother of mine. I know you think I'm being hysterical and exaggerating. I'm not, I promise. It's funny you mentioned the importance of chaste widowhood, because they're talking about that too. Of course, I don't think you've got the same ideas in mind. They're talking about the sort the sort that ends in an honorable suicide. Actually, they've been talking about it a lot. Wait, what honorable suicide? What? Oh my god. We could, of course, go with that option. Take my own life to honor his memory. Would you like to help me out with that? I'm not really very good at either holding knives or tying nooses ever since the arthritis got serious. But if you could help out, that plan could work. I, I can't even tell. Is she being sarcastic? Or does she actually seriously mean that? If you're too busy to help your sister kill herself, though, you could just do the next best thing and send the dowry. Okay, she's sarcastic. I'm sure somehow you'll manage to figure out a way to find the money. I have faith in you, little brother. I remind you again. Of course. That appealing to that family's honor is a waste of time. Father married me to a merchant, remember? You're talking about honor, but trust me, I've lived in this house for over two decades and I've looked everywhere, even under the sitting cushions. They just don't have any. So I'm going to ask you once more, little brother. You can either send a new dowry or, failing that, come by with a nice sharp knife. But you can't bring yourself to do, to do at least one of those things, um, if you can't yourself to do one of those things, and then my destitution is on your head. Do you think father would be proud of that? You are the son, you tell me. With love, your sister, Seng Hai. Seng Min, you better do something, come on. Alright, this is four days after. Response to Seng Hai. Sister, you are going to be the death of me, but I won't be the death of you. Fine, I'll figure something out. Tell his parents that I can offer them as much as the old dowry. I'll send a messenger by next week to work out the delivery of it. You're such a woman, do you know that? Manipulative to the core. That's what you are. The death of me, I swear. Okay, well I guess that worked out kinda. Okay, I think I've already read this. Nobody can say it, but I didn't see this coming. It's gotten sacked, it just came in. Okay, yeah, I read this a long time ago, but let's get her opinion. Oh yes, him. Would you like to hear ab about how I feel about Smith Kyung Sam? Now, Smith Kyung Sam is the one with the temper, right? The one that's always getting in trouble? Yes. Then let me be as clear as possible as I possibly can. Fuck that guy. I know, I shouldn't say that about a man, not least of all a dead one, but I don't care. He didn't have any respect for the dead either, as, as so as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't deserve any from me. There's nothing more even related to him that you need to see. All he ever did was complain about the main branch and trash the good name of a good man. That's all you need to know. Okay. Alright, what was it, Block 9 that has new stuff? Yep, there we go. Alright, the new bruise, Young Sok's wife. Uh, I'm trying to remember, what's going on with the Kims? What was going on with Young Sok's wife? I don't remember. The new girl, new official, new wife, new heir. Hmm. Alright, the new bruise. Bruise. 
Dearest mother, I really could use your advice. Husband has been working very late into the night recently on some business that he won't even share with me. I understand his reluctance to talk to me about things his superior has sworn him to secrecy on, and that damned child has been keeping me plenty busy anyway, but I still wish he could tell me. Last night, he was out even later than normal, and when he finally did return, he had a black eye. His face and hands bloodied. He looked really bad. The sight of that really scared me. Of course, you of all people know that I'm hardly squeamish at the sight of blood. It was how hurt he looked. I hurried him to the kitchen and started to clean his wounds. I'll admit my voice wavered when I asked, Husband, what happened? He was reluctant to answer and grunted in pain when I convinced him to put ice on his bruised eye. He finally did, and you absolutely can't repeat what he said to me. Do you understand? Not a word of it to anyone, not even to father. But I truly need advice. I had some questions for the High Magistrate's office. He sent his brother, Smith Sang-Q, to answer them. That's the dumb nasty one. He... My husband trailed off, thinking. I asked him something, and he didn't agree with. Uh, that he didn't agree with. I had the moral high standing, but he had the physical high standing. His wounds clean, I didn't know what to do, but touched the uninjured part of his face to comfort him. Then he joked. Turns out, his argument hurt a whole lot more than mine. But I could tell underneath that, he was truly hurt. What do I do, mother? How is a woman supposed to respond to such an awful thing happening? I've tried to comfort him as best I can, but I just don't know what else I can do, mother. Please, you must have some advice. Okay, so yes, that was, uh, it's not, it's not just verbal arguments with, um, with Smith saying Q. He is physically violent. Oh, hey, wait, that reminds me of something else. Well, you know Hannah, right? The whore who got herself seduced by Sojin? I would not describe her as that, but yes. There's not really a lot of writing from her, but I've got a log entry from Kim Yong Kim Yong Sook about her. You probably want to see it. Right, well, I'll let you get back to it then. But I figured that's probably something you're pretty interested in. Yes, it is. Thank you. All right, here we go. Kim Young Sook, The New Bribe. The incident occurred right as I was leaving the magistrate's office, after a late night of going through some of his paperwork. The corridor lights had long ago dimmed, and the, and the office should have been empty, so the whore slinked against the wall right outside definitely stood out. She was small and looked very young, and obviously she was dressed like any commoner, with her arms covering otherwise exposed breasts and all. Wait, what? Oh, I'll get back to that. <laughs> I won't lie and say she wasn't attractive. She certainly was. I'm sure she's very good at her role. Uh, hi, the whore said, approaching me. You're Kim Yong Sook, right? I said yes. My name is Hannah, she said, offering her hand to shake. It's an honor to meet you. I didn't take it and told her that it wasn't appropriate to be talking to her now. Ah, uh, but I've got a message from Smith Sang Min that he really insisted I deliver, the whore said, moving closer. Can I come inside? I said no, of course. Even then I could I could tell exactly where this was going, and was not pleased. Please? He was really insistent, she said, putting her hand on my face and smiling. I slapped it away instantly and shoved her into the wall. Tell him I said no. I snapped at the whore and walked away. She chased after me for a while, but eventually she seemed to realize realized that she wasn't going to get to me, and gave up. She was gone by the time I got home. I still can't believe he actually thought that would work. Now I want to know more about what the High Magistrate's association with that horror even was. Wait, so what was she trying to do with Kim Yong Sook? What was Hannah up to? I don't remember. Hmm. I know that last I read, it looked like the relation. Uh, Hannah and. Um, oh, what's the name of the person that she was with? Hannah and uh, Sojin, yeah. It looked like Hannah and Sojin's relationship was almost certainly not going to work. So she was probably doing something related to that, but I don't know what. Uh, let me cross-reference the dates. The new bribe. Hold on. 122821. 122821. 122821. 122821. 
12, 28, 21. 12, 28, 21. Which block is it in? 12, 28, 21. 12, 28, 21. Here we go. 12, 28, 21. 12... Hold on. 12, 28, 21. So, that was done in between this message and this. So what was at the end of this one? Um, it's a poem. Uh, she doesn't mention anything about any sort of plans or anything like that. So, I don't know. Okay, I think I've read everything. Okay, let's get uh, Hyane's opinion of some of these things. And let's switch her to a scientist. Disable AI. Alright, what is it? Change. Change. What is it? Change outfit. A scientist. Oh, god damn it. Jeanne is now dressed up as a scientist. Sweet! Oh, whoops. Now activated? Okay. Oh my god, that's adorable. You know, lately I've felt like everything's been moving so quickly. So much more quickly than the usual dragging boredom. What? Than the usual dragging boredom, not being all alone. Whether time is slow or fast depends on perception. Relativity theory is so romantic and so sad. <laughs> or at least I remember hearing something like that. So, what do you think of this outfit? Scientifically speaking, of course. You are scientifically adorable. Yes, that is. That is a, a law of the universe at this point. You are adorable. Oh, you think so? Thank you. That's some very useful data. Oh my god. <laughs> this costume, actually, it means a lot to me personally. See, my father, my real father, was the ship's engineer. I always wanted to be just like him when I grew up. Of course, that was never, never able to happen. Yeah, I'm sure they didn't allow women to be scientists, because that's not women's work. But, well, I guess being a computer program is as close to being a real computer scientist as I'll ever get. So this one means a lot to me. Do you think that sort of thing is fine, for a girl to follow her father's footsteps? <laughs> of course! It's admirable. Ah, I'm glad you think so. Well, anyway, I suppose we should get back to work now. Scientifically speaking, I would be happy to help test some more theories with you. Hyane is so ridiculously adorable, oh my god. Okay, um... Well, there's no new documents, but I need her opinions on some stuff, but I don't remember what. So... crap. Do I just go through every single one? Man, my voice is really taking a beating from playing this game. Well, I already did all of that, and she didn't want to talk about it. Anything new in block three? I mean, anything new to her? Oh, apparently this is. Alright, so, let me get back into this. What is brought home? Oh yeah, this is the the honeymoon period, or the old, the early period where Oh Sojin was happy with uh, Sang Min, or whatever his name is. Yeah, Sang Min. Here, I'll cut right to the, um, I was going to say the interesting part, but that's kind of awful, isn't it? I mean, given we're talking about a real person's life here, jeez, this is a bit uncomfortable. The poor girl goes from being cute and excited to, well, uh, well, what I mean is, she got jaded really quickly. Her family situation sounds like a really awkward arrangement. I'll show you what I mean. Let me know what you think after you've read that. What did you unlock?
Wait, what? Apparently you didn't unlock anything? Wait, was she gonna talk to me again? After you've read this, she said? Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll just get her thoughts later on. A laughable situation. Nope. A proper damn gentleman. <laughs> she has an opinion about this. Smith Sang Chung. I don't really know how to feel about him. I don't know. It doesn't really sound like anyone thought he was a very good person. It looks like he never married or anything. I guess he was friends with Mute. Well, that doesn't surprise me. He just seems weird. Like, it sounds like so Sojin was kind of put off by him, and I don't really blame her. I don't know. I have no idea how to judge him. See for yourself, I guess. I've added a few more things about him. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Uh, let me get my... Let me get her opinion on other things before I get down to there. So, High Magistrate Smith Sang Min, huh? This man is just... Wow. He's a real piece of work. He could... He just could not keep his pants on, it seems. I mean, neglecting his wife so he could get a courtesan pregnant... Wow, what kind of man does that? Please tell me you feel the same. Yes, he's awful. At least it was easier on Sojin. What does that mean? At least it was easier. At least it was e At least what was easier? I don't know, but yeah, he's awful. I know, right? The idea of a woman living only for her man is awful. Just awful. I totally agree. That's really disturbing. But there's one way to make that worse. For the man to just ignore her entirely. Yeah, so she... Her role in life was basically just to serve her husband. And her husband was not a good person and didn't even care about her. That's fucking horrible. Can you imagine living like that? Just being kept away in the women's, women's quarters with nobody to care about you in any way? It's horrible. I don't think her marriage was worse than mine, but at least I had something. And didn't have to worry about scandals about to, about to blow up in the family's face. And that's one thing that's good about being the Emperor's consort, I guess. So all he ever paid attention to was women who weren't his wife and all of his assorted business. Here, I'll show you what all that is. Looking at this, it feels like he spent more time with his brothers than his wife. See if she has anything to say about this. Nope. Next. No luck. Nope. Alright. Visit from Seng Chung. From Oh Sojin. Wait a minute. Seng Chung. Who is Seng Chung again? Is that Smith? Seng Chung. Sang Min is the husband of Oh Sojin. Sang Q is, well, obviously his brother, but. Is that the one that always gets in trouble? So who's Sang Chung? I, I can't remember. My husband was out of the house, as he usually is during the day, so our servant fetched me, uh, fetched me instead to tell me that someone was at the door. I was in the middle of a conversation with Mute, but had no idea how I was expected to respond to that. What do I do? I asked her. She just responded in that usual shocking crass manner of hers. Gee, I don't know, you could try answering the door, maybe. Just a thought, of course. So I excused her and went to do that, but with a great degree of nervousness, I had never done this before. At the door was my youngest brother-in-law, Sang Chung. Okay, youngest brother-in-law. Okay. Who I had only met a few times before. Although husband mentioned him often enough, usually in the same breath as calling him an irresponsible drunk, seeing him did nothing short of compound my anxieties. Uh, hello, sir, I stammered. Sojin, he responds with unbelievable volume. It's great to see you again. Hope you don't mind my dropping by unannounced. I just figured I haven't seen my new niece yet, and it's been forever since I've been in the old house. 
So well, I thought I'd stop by, say hello to your, to your daughter. I don't know. Sorry, my husband isn't home right now. Maybe you should come back later, I said, shifting uncomfortably. Oh, please. Be a good girl. Let me come see her. I'm really not here for your husband. This was awkward. I didn't exactly want to turn away my brother-in-law. Especially if you just wanted to see baby Minhai. But this was hardly proper. It really wouldn't be my place. Sorry, you'll have to wait until my husband gets back. I trailed off. He rolled his eyes, then smiled at me. Really? Come now. You're a smarter woman than that, he said, and put his hand on my shoulder. And this had now moved on to incredibly uncomfortable. You really value his authority that much? He's my husband, I responded. What else could I say? He replied, Wow, no wonder he walks all over you. That's how you treat him. You have got a lot to learn about dealing with men, dear Sojin, especially my brother. But come on now, this is a bad conversation for a doorway. Can't I see my niece? I hear she's rather adorable. I took a deep breath. I'm sorry, I said, trying to be as bold as I could. I'm going to have to go now. Sorry. I started to close the door on him. All right, I understand. I'll talk to him myself. Later. Don't worry, though. I won't mention this visit. Do say hello to her mother for me, though. He said and left. My heart nearly skipped a beat when he said those words. Right. <laughs> Do say hello to her mother for me, though, so he knew that she was not the one that actually had that child. I stood there in the doorway for a good while, stunned. Even now, I still have much to think about. Not simply his knowledge of our child's true mother, a matter of great secrecy, but also of what he said about my husband. Perhaps his words were true. Uh, I'm really sorry, please don't get mad, but I don't really understand what you're looking for. Maybe I'm just not getting it and it's my fault, but I can't find anything that seems relevant. Sorry. No problem. Okay, um, did I... Did she have an opinion on this? Legendary Temper? Yep. Uh, I'm really sorry, please... Wait. Oh. It's weird that it's giving me the option to get her opinion, but she doesn't know what to do. Hmm. Drank himself to death by O. Sojin. As horrible as it is to say, I don't think anyone was really surprised when brother-in-law Sang Chung was found dead. Nobody asked how, nor has anyone so much as mentioned the word drinking in my presence since. Even the ordinarily extremely candid mute has been entirely somber. Mother-in-law, I understand... Uh, Mother-in-law, I understand why she's been t taking it so hard, and have been working hard to stay well out of her way while the funeral preparations are being settled. But mute? I had no idea they were so close. Yet in our last conversation, I could have sworn she was on the verge of tears. I had never seen such a reaction from her in all my time here. As for myself, I have an awful confession I can make to no one. I put on a somber face, acting as though I'm as sad as the rest, since that is of course what is expected, but it pains me to admit that I'm not. It is not as if I don't find it tragic, and I feel bad for thinking this, but I didn't know him at all. How could I possibly bring myself to feel as upset as I'm expected to be? Hmm. Uh, what is it, Hyane? Something important? Well, you've seen pretty much everything that matters about the Smith family now. I'm still just parsing this all myself. You know, most of it's new to me too. I mean, when I was alive, I didn't even know the Smith family existed. Well, maybe Che Hua mentioned them once. I don't really remember, it's been 600 years. But I don't think she did. I... I really wish I'd known about Sojin at the time. I really, really do. Uh, so what do you think? Are you satisfied with that overview? Um... As an overview... Yeah, I'd say... That, I wouldn't even call that an overview, that seems pretty damn detailed. Yes. Oh well, that's good. So what do you think of them then? Um, wait, Kyung Sam was right. Who's Kyung Sam again? Kyung Sam, Kyung Sam. 
I, I don't remember who Kyung Sam is. I can't answer this question honestly. I don't know who Kyung Sam is and or what he thought. Hold on, can I save it? I'm gonna save it so I can go right back here in case I do the wrong thing. Uh, let me just see what this is. I guess that's one opinion to have. Oh, but what about Sojin? Aren't you... Okay, so, see, this is the... Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't... Let me go back. They're pitiful. Well, I guess. I mean... They certainly had a lot of problems, that's for sure. See, actually, this brings up an interesting thing. When I think of they're pitiful, the connotation of that is that they're, you know, they're pathetic people. But pitiful just means, like, you take pity on them, right? They're deserving of pity? So when you say, like, you know, I have pity for them, I, I don't mean it in a bad way, I mean... A lot of them had to deal with some really horrible shit. But when I say they're pitiful, it makes them sound pathetic. I don't think they're pathetic, I just think they're sad. But anyway, they're pitiful. Yeah, really. My family considered them political enemies, and the men were always so insistent on our family taking their place, to the point where, well... Well, you know. It just seems to me, though, that the men destroyed themselves and dragged women like poor Sojin with them. Huh. Drunk himself to death, went with courtesans, got into fights... I would totally agree with that, actually. Yeah, actually, that is <laughs> that is true. They kind of just fucked themselves over. And since the women were expected or forced into marriage, they went down with the ship, so to speak. And I don't understand how Mute plays in at all. That's the weird thing to me. Well, she was a good friend of, what, the Smiths? Or a few of the Smiths? Or one of the Smiths? So maybe she was used to... I don't know, do something? Hmm. Still, though, what an awful marriage Sojin had. I feel so bad for her, to be thrown away and forgotten like that. I know. You know, though, in a sort of perverse way, I feel a little bit relieved to read another story like hers. And just so I know, it's not just me. A reminder that it's not just because I was from another time. It would have sucked even if I was born in that period. Does that sound bad to you? No, I, I understand. Oh, really? Well, thank you for saying that. I'm so happy you understand. Anyway, I suppose that's all. Thanks for indulging me in going through their story, though. I really learned a lot just now. I won't waste your time with any more babbling. Shall we get back to whatever you were talking about before? I'm not even sure if... There's no new messages, right? No messages are unread. Hmm. I guess I need one of them to read a c uh, comment about something I've read. I'm not sure who needs to comment about what. But anyway, I'll figure it out when I come back. Because my voice is starting to fall apart and it has been about an hour and ten minutes or so. So I better stop before it completely falls apart. So, in summary, a lot of stuff happened, some very sad stories, and also Hyun A is incredibly adorable in all of her cosplay costumes. Oh my god, it's so cute! Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.